Alabamians who had hoped to be able to use medical cannabis will have to wait longer. A judge has issued a temporary restraining order preventing the state medical cannabis commission from issuing licenses to sell. Let's find out more from Dallas Payton. David, Cindy, the judge put the order in place because of a legal battle on how dispensaries were picked to win a license to sell medical cannabis. Alabama Cannabis Coalition President H. Marty Schoper says the way the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission has handled the process to get a license to sell medical cannabis has been a nightmare. So in June, they rescinded all the applications. They started the process again. In August, they rescinded all of the applicants that they had awarded in August. They threw out the uh, merit-based scoring system that the uh, University of South Alabama had gone through. The commission recently decided that applicants would have to do a presentation for licensing consideration. Schoper says the process has not been fair. Yes, it's written into the legislation, Senate Bill 46, how many licenses can be awarded in, in the categories as far as cultivation, as far as processing, as far as dispensaries, as far as uh, transportation, and as far as laboratories. There are licenses that are out there on the table that aren't being awarded yet for whatever reason. The ruling only affects dispensary licensing, not those issued license to cultivate, transport, or test marijuana. In February, the commission is expected to issue integrated license, which allows companies to grow, transport, and sell medical cannabis. There is no word if the judge will make a ruling on that as there is 12 lawsuits related to integrated licensing. Put on a temporary restraining order, even if cannabis is grown in the state, processed, pass all of the laboratory testing, there won't be any stores, no dispensaries that will be able to dispense medical cannabis in the state of Alabama. So we're really at a standstill. Shoper hopes something will come from Alabama's legislative session next month. Hoping and praying that hopefully Senator Melson, who sponsored this legislation in the Alabama Senate, will step forward with some type of amendment to resolve these licensing issues so that we can get legal medical cannabis on the shelves for the citizens of the state of Alabama. And of course, we'll continue to follow this story and bring you updates as they become available.